I somewhat got off easy, frankly. My car was broken into, windows smashed, that sort of thing, at 7.15 in the morning, uh, not the middle of the night. Uh, they were seen, they ran, the cops pursued them, the police officers and such. But what's what much worse is what you're bringing up. Carjackings, as you stated, are up over 107%. We had one member whose car was, was hijacked not too long ago. Uh, but what, what's, again, even worse, my staff, visitors, guests into, into our nation's capital, uh, three of the, my eight staffers in Washington were actually held up at, by gunpoint within the last wow. two years, three out of eight. I mean, I, I go down to my local CVS, I've been in there maybe 10 times in the last three years, twice. There was um, incidences of, of security trying to stop the uh, the uh, s stealing and, and, and uh, theft. So, but there's reasons for this. D D.C. and Philadelphia is is almost as bad. My right. my in my home state has decreased their funding for the police in D.C. by a hundred million dollars over the last several years, and as as just as bad prosecutors shouldn't be called prosecutors because they prosecute less than 50 percent of the arrests and crimes that come to them. So this needs to change. I have a bill to defund the prosecutors that don't prosecute. Right. Uh, or at least prosecute at a, at a minimum well, level of 67 percent. When, when so these are the actions that have to be taken. It's a when people think they can get away with it, Congressman Sorry. User. No, no. I, when people think they can get away with it, exactly. Yeah. There's no incentive for them to be fearful. Uh, you mentioned one of your colleagues, Henry Quaylar. Yeah. Uh, and even the, Joe Biden's own granddaughter. This is Joe Biden's America. Clearly, you and your staff uh, don't feel safe. I also want to play some testimony from D.C. residents. They were at a council hearing yesterday, and this is what they are saying as well. Two men came behind me, blocked me in my driveway, uh, pointed a gun at me, frisked me, and um, took, me, took my car. Four men, four young men with guns aim their guns at my daughter, right? My daughter's three years old. She's showing symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. I would think this would impact the way people vote in 2024. And when they look at these uh, crime statistics under Biden's role here, and like you mentioned, the defunding, yeah. it's going to play a part, Congressman. I think a significant part, public safety is probably the most important function of government as well as national uh, sec security. Um, but it's an ideology of appeasement that the, the left seems to have. It exists at our border, just, just letting illegals in. And meanwhile, you have somebody like, like Mayorkas, Secretary Mayorkas writes a memo stating, make sure you ask uh, illegals what pronoun is important to them. I mean, that's how backwards and this ideology of appeasement it exists on our streets, it exists at our, at our borders, uh, and it exists, un unfortunately, on the international scene. Um, and what's even worse is it's so digressive, Bianca. Think of when you, if customers aren't going to be going to those stores. Stores' prices are going up because they need more security. I mean, if I go buy something at CVS, it takes me 10 minutes because everything is locked up. So you have those added costs, those added inconveniences, less people, less customers, less purchasing, less revenues for the store, but less revenues for the government. So meanwhile, yeah. as, as they're defunding the police, they're losing all that money in, in tax revenues.